you are a pagan and specifically a druid looking to bulk up your magical tools, this book is going to be perfect for you. Hey there saplings, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today's book review is The Crane Bag by Joanna van der Hoven. Pagan Portals has done it again. This is another super short, super sweet book that gives you the answers you are looking for in your pagan practice right when you need it. Joanna is obviously a fantastic author. Uh, her book The Owen Alone has gotten lots of really great attention and praise and if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out on my channel. I reviewed it a few years ago. This book is all about giving you the basics and necessary information you need to build your tools as a druid. It begins by of course talking about what a crane bag is and the crane bag seems to be a pretty unique tool for druids. You don't see a specific bag as being a tool that many other pagan practices use um, as frequently as you do with druids. A crane bag is really the place that you kind of keep and store your magical tools or maybe just magical stones and fetishes that you find in the natural world. It serves the purpose of kind of passing wisdom on and empowering the wearer and owner of the magical bag. From the crane bag you then move on to get an introduction and kind of myth explanation of most of the tools that pagans will use, particularly the tools that druids use. So the sickle, the staff, a bowl or cauldron, the silver branch, everything is in this book. What's very refreshing is the author explains the tool, a little bit of the myth, and leaves it open to the reader to really find the tool that's right for them. There's no big demand on a reader to be like it has to be x and you have to do y it's very much like this is a tool this is how it might make your magical practices easier or more awesome but by no means are you required to do anything with it interestingly enough the book finishes by talking about druid ritual so of course it uses the information about magical tools earlier in the book to incorporate those into the elements of ritual meaning you get a feel for how those tools are actually practically used. And if you're looking for a primer on Druid Ritual, this is actually a great place to start too. And finally, the last chapter is a bit on altered states, how you might connect to the other world and different ways that Druids might use magical ritual or tools to really enter into those altered states. This book is only like 82 pages long, so I would probably recommend just checking it out from the library or getting it on Kindle. Um, it's super reasonably priced that way. I'm not really sure it's necessary for your bookshelf, but it is a great beginner book. And perhaps if you're in the position where you're a teacher or you know, you're know you in charge of a grove yourself, then maybe having a couple of these cheap books on hand would be great to hand out to those who are really new or carrying with you to different pagan pride events or gatherings as a way of just answering some of those basic questions. Overall, fantastic book. Definitely recommend picking up, especially if you're a bit new to the practice. In the comments below, tell me what your favorite magical tool is and how you made or found it. Today's sapling shout out goes out to Kara Moore. She wrote a fantastic comment on my crane bag video where she talks about her own magical crane bag, her baudron, all the things that she's done already for her crane bag and the things she hopes to do with it. It's a really cool comment. And if you haven't seen my video for a crane bag, definitely go over, check that video out in the comment. Thanks for watching and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove. Thank you.